Already collapsing in three, two, one. Okay, that was Good God. Enough. Oh shoot! I, I knocked papers off my desk. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking keep this in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! I have the power now, Paradox. Fear me! I got the power. <laughs> Hi. Shut up. I, I'm Ninja, <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the G-Cast. Today's a very special episode. You see, we fucked up on the last Sonic one, and today we're making it up to all of you. Not by having a one-on-one -on -one discussion like we've been doing as of late. Rather, a 1v1v1v1 free-for-all on who has you the best say... opinion on Sonic the movie. You could say 2v2, alright... Who are all you people? You could say this is our redesign. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> because the last one was garbage. It Anyways, was. hi, I'm Paradox. Who are all you people? I, okay. I, I'm Ninja, and I'm not used to being on this end of the question. I am a freeze ghost. Gotta go fast there. And, <laughs> uh, fuck you. Uh... <laughs> Not again. Uh, and who's that standing in the corner? <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm Biff. Otherwise known as... Exist. Wow. wow. Funky Biff. Kong, dude. I'm proud of you. So, um, we kind of messed up on the last episode. Paradox and I talked about Sonic before, but something happened. No fingers are being pointed, but Paradox deleted his audio. Audacity... <laughs> no, Audacity was dumb and used the wrong microphone, so it didn't pick oh, up right. anything. This yeah. isn't the first Budget Peer thing, sorry. And, um... And so it was just me talking uh, to... <laughs> wow. Jeez. The scrapped Budget Peer episode. Uh, Budget Peer didn't even do that well, which is why uh, we've <laughs> not done it again. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, guys, idea. guys. Guys. So... So we we're, we're redoing this, and we have Chris on this time. Yeah. Because he's finally back, and out of anyone, Chris is the one who should be on this episode because he's gonna fucking talk our ears off. Yes. Uh, it's pretty great. He's the Sonic man. Just yeah. Just to, Sonic speed. Uh, Chris is uh, Freeze Ghost to those yeah. who don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 a big. Finally explaining that like in season three when we like interchangeably refer to him as Chris and Freeze Ghost for all of season two. Just in case this is someone's first episode, okay? Yeah, I okay. Mean, you get them caught up. Now here's the Fair lore enough. of the G cast. Here's the lore. <laughs> we, the we have oh, yes, I know the Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> lore. Last episode. I know the Sonic the Hedgehog lore. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. this will help. So, Do you know it better than Brian David Gilbert? Yes, I know it better, better than uh, Barack Obama. So, <laughs> <laughs> Barack Obama is secretly a Sonic fan, and he's crying right now because of those words. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So, so, who wants to start off? I'm going to be kind of taking a back seat, since most of my points were kind of already said. Both of you to assume people have seen the other video. No. Yeah. Seven views. Go watch there the other video and bask in, in its emptiness. Yes. There are seven people in the world, Biff. Seven people have seen it. Exactly. And honestly, four of those views were probably us. Well, <laughs> All of them were me. Okay. Mm. Alright, okay, guys. Let's get, let's into, get into the topic, alright? Sonic, uh... He's pretty cool, uh, so I'll, I'll just explain the plot for a second, because you guys Sonic love me movie. explaining the plot. Um, so Sonic, uh, you know, he's like a Sonic, right? He's running through uh, Green Hill Zone. Yeah, he's Sonic. Yeah, he's uh, Baby Sonic, because you know Baby Yoda. Baby. Baby. Yeah. So he's running in a path, and if you guys Baby did, Knight. if you guys noticed the running, how he was running, and the pathway how it was designed is similar to generations one one Green mario Hill. oh oh i thought it was World one, one <laughs> okay Mario's. so then he found finds an owl called uh long claw which uh if you look at sonic youth which was a page thingy 
He said that uh, he was found wandering around in a daze one day by Sofa Cockles. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, sharp-eyed owl. So like, it's it's kind of linked to the game lore, and like, then you see the Echidna tribe because they're usually power hungry and greedy in the lore. They try to take Sonic's power and energy, you know, all of that good shit. Uh, and then, you know, he gets the ring, uh, they th Long Courses ha have these rings, they can teleport you, go to, um, Earth, and then, like, Mushroom Planet if they find you. And then, then, then Long Claw fucking dies. And, yeah. And then Sonic's all alone, uh, he causes a power surge because he's a dumb cunt. And couldn't control his energy, and he, he's just fucking, you know that. And then he finds Tom, uh, Doctor uh, Jim Carrey from the nineties, uh, who's now a scientist, comes into the place. <laughs> Jim Carrey, like it's real world Jim Carrey. He just walked <laughs> onto the set and he just started filming. Yeah. It's Ace Ventura. His insanity has been cured. Yes. <laughs> yes. Or enhance. And Jim Carrey, <laughs> aka Dr. Robotnik, aka Eggman, aka uh, uh, Kento Borg, aka Omelette, aka Ugh, fuck. So, yeah, so that. Egg fuck. <laughs> egg fuck. So, egg fuck. Um, yeah. That's only in the real time dub. He, he's, he's a narcissist. And this time, and he thinks he's better than everyone, and he's- And Tom and Sonic are going on a road trip. Tom decides to help Sonic go to San Francisco, because Sonic's legs are kind of like, you know, weird. Because, like, he doesn't know where Just San- nah. He somehow, being ten years in Earth, doesn't know how to use a map. So, uh, he, he can't go to San Fran, so he got to, got to get Tommy Boy, who's moving to San Fran, and Sonic's very mad. They do a bar scene, you know, Sonic's basically Quicksilver, he's like, stops time, there's cool shit. Uh, Eggman finds him with, like, this machine that could go as fast as Sonic, and they chase around, and then the final battle happens, ring, boom, Eggman's in the Mushroom Planet, uh, he gets more insane, more like the Robotnik and Sonic, and Sonic Tom live together in secret, but they live together, so it's more epic, and the end, uh, so... So that was the freeze part... ghost cut of Sonic the Hedgehog 2020. <laughs> my favorite part is like, it, he, like at one point they were mad at each other, then like according to Chris at the next point they're like roommates, just like living together. <laughs> <laughs> Co completely cut out the wife and the dog. Yeah, what the fuck? Who's Maddie? Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Also forgot they they go to this no, house. Pretzel like, lady. This this pretzel girl. Lady. Pretzel oh yeah, pretzel lady. lady. Donut I, lord. I, I I forgot. Pretzel lady. <laughs> this sounds so like a new Pokemon. Lady. Pretzel lady. Uh, so pretzel lady is like a thing, right? That's in the movie. Tom's wife, you know. Pretzel. <laughs> and uh, you like saying like pretzel lady. Yeah, so, uh, what, what happens there is that they go to the house, right, because Tom is now, like, a terrorist, uh, so, te <laughs> so Alu Akbar. Shut up, ninja, I'm, I'm, I'm a You're liberal. gonna get us kicked off the platform. Yes, we're not, we're SJWs. You're gonna get us, we're, <laughs> you're gonna get us kicked out of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Jim Carrey's gonna come and find us. Alright, so At yeah. least he lives close enough to the border already. Uh, yeah, have you guys correct. been vaccinated? Jim Carrey's no, gonna I'm hate about you. Sonic movie. Jim Carrey hates vaccinations, if you didn't know. Anyways, so um, you know, the mad they go to the house. Tommy's trying to explain. Uh, Blue Hedgehog is like in a bag. He reveals it. The girl, the Maddie's, I guess, like sister or cousin. I don't know. Passes out. The, His, the, her sister. Yes. Her sister. Yeah. The daughter. So the daughter. Mom. So like the daughter of the the sister of the Tom pretzel lady. Jojo. Jojo. Okay. Yeah. Jojo, Jojo. Give Sonic because Sonic has dusty ass Jojo's shoes. Jojo's bizarre adventure. Yeah. So Jojo gives Sonic new Puma shoes because you need that Puma product placement. To replace his dusty ass fucking little shitty black shoes. Wait, wasn't it Nike at first? Like, yeah, it was really Nike. Cute. It was Nike. I could show the images on set if you want to see that. Uh, 
sure. I'll put this up on screen. Yeah, look at that. Uh, it's pretty cool. You should go... Sonic music. What'd you think? Go. Uh, I like how Eggman's theme uh, is taken... is a much more menacing version of the meme, the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog theme. Um, oh, really? Yeah, it is. If you, if you search it up. And also, uh... I'll I have like, to look that up. I, I like the aware. I like the piano uh Green Hill Zone and I just like the movie. It just it just sounds good, you know? And yeah, it's just it's just a good movie, you know. Though I wish it had some more like Sonic like tracks. Like I think the thing that should have been in the movie because you see how City Eggman speed. has the truck, right? And City they're speed. going to San Francisco. City so why good. not have Eggman chase Sonic with a tr with like a truck with his truck? Oh, you oh, you're not going City Escape. I thought you were going. I thought it was City called Escape. Escape from the we City, not City Escape. Yeah, it's Escape from the No, but I am referencing City Escape because oh, okay. a truck Sonic San Francisco. Well, which is running. it? City Escape or Escape from the City? No, they can have City Escape while Escape from the City's instrumental is like playing in the background so like I a think, remix I version. Think Escape from you're the city's blowing the my mind. Escape from the City is the name of the song, right? And yeah. then City Escape's the level name. Yes, exactly. Why the okay. heck would they do that? Because Good the question. songs are different. Because they rolling around at the speed. We're of talking time. about one song and a he's level got, and ah. Uh, yeah, we are. So escape from the, the city the should instrumental should play while uh Sonic mm. is being chased in a truck in San Francisco as a reference to City Escape. I think that would have been a cool idea. But anyways, I agree. What about you? Ben? If what's you're being your, quiet, what's your take on this. Oh, what, about the sound? No, on, on the oh. City Escape versus Escape from the City debate. I was thinking the sound thing, but sure, whatever. <laughs> oh. Um. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really have an opinion. I'll, I'll okay. remain silent for now. I'll... What about the sound? Biff says, I don't do music. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it sounded fine. Uh, I, I didn't really notice anything, like, bad about it <laughs> it needed more sound effects like of the, like the bonong well like, like like a like a slide whistle <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, classic sonic sounds but now just I like a when... distant um just the distant fortnite theme while he was flossing yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> all right here is another segment of um you know me uh, knowing a lot of Sonic lore, so I've, I, this is an image, and I, I took a snippets of it just to give you some examples. So, as you can see, that Long Claw does make sense in the Sonic the Hedgehog lore, which there is Sonic the Hedgehog epic gamer lore. So, as you can see, here is that that's a uh, labyrinth zone, and you can see the rocks have owls, which was used in Green Hill Zone. Uh, for the actual movie, and it was placed around there for West Side Island. And also, in early Sonic 2's development, the game took to place on South Island, and Aquatic Ruin also has owls. And you can see concept art there of Sonic 2. So, as you can see, the so movie... you just kind of, like, randomly jumped back into Longclaw. Yes, because Longclaw is epic. Um, and also you could see that the movie's West Side Island, if you watch the movie, looks ex looks really close to this from the Sonic 1 Game Gear game. So, yeah. Have fun adding these in, especially that giant long image. Yeah, I decided to split it up, but yeah, it's, it's pretty- Oh, now yeah. You mentioned it, I'm not gonna add it in. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna add it in. <clears throat> yeah, okay, here's right. the here, yeah. right here over where my hand is, so. there's an image of a chili dog. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay. Also I love the chili dog reference. Um did you guys like I it? I love too? the fart scene. Yes. Just like the fart scene. <laughs> I like the fart Check it... your fear check your fart and make exposed. sure nothing came out. <laughs> what well, uh, I have a fart <laughs> 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 okay, well, Biff, what did you think of the movie? I want to hear what you thought. Uh, well, the fart scene was sadly one of the few moments where, uh, 
Where God was obviously <laughs> blessing where, this film. Where I, where I thought that God had temporarily <laughs> forsaken the film. But, uh... <laughs> also, I, I overall... <laughs> oh, yeah, you can talk. No, 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 Biff, talk more. I want to hear more of your <laughs> funny epic moments. Oh, okay, epic. That I'll, I'll introduce some voice. epic gamer moments. Um, overall, I thought the film was fine. Um, oh, jeez. Uh, the, yeah, I think the inciting moment, the one where he just, like, walks around the, um, you know, baseball field, or runs around it. I don't know, I just felt that was kind of, like, out of nowhere. Like, he just randomly, like, gets hit with, like, this desire to, like, create, like, a cataclysmic event. <laughs> I mean, not really. Not like, really. he doesn't choose to do that. He's surprised by the lightning thing. He's like, yo, I really well, want to. I like, mean, right. He's just, just like, like, yo, I'm depressed. I gotta get my MCR. And then he just runs in a square. So, yeah. was his energy, was that the result of him going faster than usual? Or was yeah. it just like his it emotions? It was kind of a combination of him going faster out. and like his emotional state? Yes, I yes. Think it was also because throughout yes. the movie, exactly. like, you see as he, like, feels strong emotions uh he does like feel his powers do kind of come in like when he feels betrayed by tom and especially at the end when he um when the town stands up for him yeah so yeah and he just, like, yeah, you can see. Sp- i also do think just, like, that ball it's attacking the, or spin dashing whatever the mm-hmm. robotnik thing <laughs> i also do think that it's the fact of the fact like you know how like whenever you rub your like socks up against the carpet and you get static energy. I think something like that where it's like all this like speed was just kind of condensed into one place. The so the friction. reaction Yeah, so the reaction was like a lot more big than like it would have normally been. A lot more been. big. <laughs> big the cat. A lot, yes. In fact, <laughs> if you notice during the explosion, Big the Cat is in the corner. Yeah, that's okay, epic. There is also, also guys, five guys, se- five minutes, twelve seconds into this video, big the cat's in the corner. I'm gonna hate myself right now. Yes. <laughs> well, I, yeah, we're gonna make a reference to Sonic Adventure Two, where big the cat is just everywhere in this video. Right, he he does do that. He uh, does do. So... He really be like that sometimes. So he really be like that. Yeah. So Paradox, what do you think of the movie? You got you got things you got to re say now. Yeah, because I couldn't say them in the other video. Um, my, I thought Sonic's design was really well done. I said it before, but you couldn't hear it. I didn't hate the original Sonic design. I understand why people didn't like it, but I do really like the newer design over the older design. I thought the movie was good. It had a little bit of a pacing issue because it went so fast for the first hour and then the last 40 minutes seem to drag in comparison. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I-, I kind of thought the movie just went, just like ended too soon. Like at the movie, went... the movie just went so fast that I just wanted like thirty a bit thirty minutes more. But I guess they had a low budget, which uh, if you could see, I-, I saw online that the re- reason that we didn't see a lot of Sonic's world and it went for more of the generic uh, trope of, oh, a character goes into the new world and meets a character where they're not Sonic sure. Sonic the Hedgehog they're... 2020 is an isekai anime. Prove me wrong. Yes, but then <laughs> I don't I, even know if but... I pronounced that right. I'm probably gonna get. Is it more... isekai? The... It's okay, it's okay. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Guys, guys, the movie no, was <laughs> Guys, the movie was originally going to uh have more CGI characters and was gonna take place in Sonic's world, but due to a very low budget, they had to scrap that and had to go more for a you know more realistic type thing to save budget. More realistic still yeah. a lot of CGI. Yeah, like but still, like you're you're, you're comparing game. like a CGI character like Sonic to entirely recreating everything in Sonic's world for like an hour and thirty minutes, a bunch that would hour take, and forty. Yeah, an hour and forty minutes. That'll take a lot of time and resources, and would probably make the budget higher. But as the movie is successful, I think what they are going to do. Well, I that's think, not exactly how the budget works. Yeah, but. No, but like, you know, if the movie is really successful, they would kind of, like, up the production value. 
Like, well, yeah, for the next one. But, yeah. like, them spending more money doesn't automatically make the budget bigger. That just means that they s- overspent the budget. No, no, that's it's not what I like said. Just... Like, he's like, yo, I'll make this movie for the same price. And, like, that's how, like, he keeps on making movies. I don't remember who it was, but there's some guy who does that. It's like, yo, this isn't going to cost you any more. I'm the Joker, baby. Um, so, I guess we should start wrapping it up, since uh, Paradox and I are kind of exacerbated on the whole topic, and I, and Chris, you could probably go on for three hours about this, I'm assuming. Yeah, oh, so. I don't doubt it. All right, by the well, way, maybe one if more you thing? stopped exacerbating on screen, we could. <laughs> <laughs> if you donate to our Patreon, <laughs> we can use this exacerbating on screen. <laughs> but you can hear the three hour cut of it's my only this going on. <laughs> By the way, one more thing remember to go to Olive Garden to get never ending pasta ball, which is. And never ending breadstick. Yeah. And be sure to pay $100 for your never-ending pasta pass, which gives you, like, I think a full month of, like, unlimited pasta at Olive Garden. Look and it remember, up. It's a real thing. It's so weird. And it's remember, so go good. Go to www.olivegarden.com slash gamesphericast to get 0% off your next order. Uh, actually, guaranteed zero percent uh, uh, off your next order. <laughs> uh, actually, Ninja, I believe that was a uh, www.olivegarden.gov. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. But well, other than that, perfect. Okay. Um, one more thing. I, I didn't we... get to talk about my uh, theory that uh, Sonic uses the speed force, but um. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. We have time. Okay, okay. we have five okay. more minutes. All right, so at the very end, during the climax, right? So I guess they were going for this whole thing where, like, every, like, by, like, Robotnik, by taking that, like, one bit of his fur, was, like, taking powers from Sonic or something. Because uh-huh. there was that one moment when it was, like, broken, like, all the power, like, went back into him or something, and he got, like, powered up. So, which means that there's, like, some sort of, like... I don't know, like, connection. Energy? Right? Right, there's some sort of energy or something that's powering him up, and that's, like, accessible across distances, right? Uh Uh-huh. Like, and, I don't know. That's because he's Goku as a hedgehog. He just hasn't found the Dragon Balls to power him up to Super Saiyan. Does that mean he's, like, a conduit for, like, some otherworldly energy? Mm, Yeah. Like, the energy that holds together the multiverse? Dude, maybe. I don't know. I can't right, wait for the, yeah. for the Flash Sonic Guys, crossover. does this mean that Sonic is in the gonna be in the DCEU? Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Birds of Prey Okay, Chris, I know you've Sonic been burning to say something. Okay. So, let's talk about the two end credits, or the mid credits, whatever they're the fucking called. But let's just talk about the Eggman scene and the tail scene before we wrap it all up. So, yeah, let's oh, talk spoilers, about much... even though the movie's been out for like a month. Okay, let's yeah, talk so. About how much my icy was disappointing. So, oh, I'll wait, talk no, about the Eggman scene. I'll it's talk like about... two weeks. Shoot. Okay, I'll talk about the Eggman scene and we can all talk about if you end then after. So, Eggman uh, is like walking through, he's fucking shaving his head. He looks more like an egg, bro. It's it's egg carry now. Wait, you just missed a chance. You said egg, bro. Why didn't you say Eggman? I said, I said egg carry. Egg man. No, you're like, he looks egg more like Egg man, take me by the hand. <laughs> Biff got it. <laughs> I am the egg. <laughs> Make me to you, you, let me take me. Uh, T- let me take, take me to, to the to mushroom to land. My death egg <laughs> land. <laughs> so, egg man, you That's know. my next single, coming out never. <laughs> do it. Land. If you do it, I'll box. pay $5 for death it. Death egg land. Alright, anyways, so what happens after is that Eggman is, like, talking about, uh, he's talking to a rock, Agent Stone, which I forgot to mention, yeah, Agent Stone, he, he exists Should in the movie. Between the rock. So it's like, Agent Stone, and then he throws the fucking stone, and then he's like, oh yeah, bro, I'm smart, uh, unless a human would die on this planet, but I have Sonic's energy thingy, so I'll, I'll survive you fucking dickheads. And in a lot of parts of that, when he says, like, raw connoissance, he kind of- Rock connoissance! He kind of low-key sounds like 
game Eggman. Like he's like the voice in a lot of that part started to sound like he was getting more unhinged. And like they actually rendered that with a with a Sega Genesis sound card too. Yes. So yeah, that's pretty epic. What did you guys think of that epic gamer moment? It was spoiled in the first trailer. Epic gamer moment. But in the first trailer, like it seemed like he was on a beach or something, or like maybe he was in Sonic Kill World. Yeah. And not so much just like on a world of mushrooms. But it's still whenever you're watching the like movie, you're like, when is Eggman just gonna go crazy? And then Do it doesn't happen, and then the final fight starts up, you're like, okay, he's gonna go into Mushroomville. Like, it's it's something that's... I thought he was going to Barbados. Okay. Because of that stupid joke at the beginning. Yes. Well, guess, uh, guess what? We're not, we're not all comedy geniuses like you, Paradox. Yes, and also, yeah, the egg, they, they improved the CG on the mushrooms. The mushrooms in the first trailer looked shitty. But I thought it was a good thing. I liked it. It was pretty pretty epic. And I also think that the Mushroom Planet was a dig on Mario. Because y- you get a mushroom. And people are saying, oh, it's a Mushroom Hill Zone thing. But, like, how many people... I don't even think Jeff... Like, Mushroom Hill Zone isn't even that. It's on Knuckles' planet, and it looks entirely different. It's just not... Mm. Knuckles lives on a different planet? No, I'm, no an island. A floating island. It's on Angel Island? Yeah, Mushroom Hill Zone is an Angel Island. Is that where Pumpkin Hill Zone is, too? No. God, these were all foreign names to me. Well, well shut up, Ninja. You don't know it's Guess you better go me, play Knuckles me, Chaotix. Me and, me and the Listen. big boys are here. <laughs> hey, Chris, I control your fate right now. <laughs> Fuck off. Alright, I have more power than you. Anyways, Tails... Tails, right? Uh, he, 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 he was like, I'll be right there! He's in, like, the, the... I don't know how Tails knows who Sonic is, because he isn't, like, Tails eight years old. If Tails is eight years old and Sonic is... let's just, uh, Some people say Sonic was two years old, so at least 12 years old, I guess, or 16. Even then, how... In the, the games, he's, like, 15, and I think Tails is, like, 11 or 12? No, he's eight. Like, maybe he's maybe nine, seven. actually. I think yeah, he's actually nine. Either way, how the fuck does Tails know who Sonic is? Is, it, is Sonic, like, an ancient kind of being, and he's been looking for it? Him while flying okay. tornado. The or... prophecy of the blue quilled one. Yeah, so well, that kind of. I would love to go into this very philosophical no, wait, wait, wait. discussion. Oh, okay. Actually, it's not what? philosophical. It's philosophical, <laughs> alright. So, yeah, I-, I liked it. And then, like, Tails is like, he has the Colleen, he's probably voicing Tails, which I thought was cool, because, like, I didn't really like, I don't like Roger Craig Smith, but I really like the recent Tails voice actors, like Colleen and Kate. Higgins, you know, they're, they're pretty epic. So I like them just using those voice actors, and I think it, the Tails looks like a fluffy boy. Pretty epic. Alrighty, well, is this the end of the podcast? Yes, and remember, I'm to... Ninja. We've got a whole thing, Chris. This isn't. You. <laughs> we do this every time. You can who, mess uh, with Super Sonic Speed. I'm Ninja! <laughs> and who were all you people? I'm, I'm Paradox. Who are you people? I'm Verbal Ace, beatboxer from out of space. And still standing in the corner is... Um... The... Death right! Yes. <laughs> Do you guys that seriously... That is my you guys seriously... unofficial official last name. You, you guys Death don't know who... Alright, so... Subscribe uh, to the channel, comment your thoughts down below... Follow Gcast on Twitter at Gcastofickle. Follow Ninja at xNinja555. Follow Biff, Biff Wright. Follow Freeze Ghost at FreezyBoy4. I think that's his current thing. Yeah. And remember to watch Verbal Ace's Check out Mario Survivor, Sonic. my latest album. And, and I can personally guarantee that Paradox will personally respond to every single comment you post. Yes. Okay, Paradox, you gotta do it now. Oh, yeah. I, use... I will make it my goal. You For can... every video from this one <laughs> all the way to the end of the 30 minutes or less, or your comment free. <laughs> and also... Guys, if, if you subscribe, we'll subscribe back in less than 15 seconds, I swear. We're the fastest uh, subscribers on YouTube. Uh, alive. Fastest subscribe in the West. <laughs> okay, also... Fastest subscriber alive. Alrighty. Well, I'm... 
Uh, hi, it's me, Ninja. I'm in the middle of editing right now, and I just found out that the outer spectrums did not render completely. So the last, like, minute, I think, where we're, like, in saying goodbye is completely not audio spectrumed. So I'm going to stick it on without the audio spectrum. So just sorry about that. I would normally re-render it, but it is currently Friday, Friday at 12 a.m., and it was supposed to be uploaded Wednesday, and I don't have the time to re-render it for a third time. But enjoy. Hey, hi. Alrighty. Well, I'm... Wait, one more thing. Ninja. Remember to watch <laughs> Verbal Aces Mario vs. Sonic Beatbox Battle. It's the greatest Who... video ever. Wait. <laughs> okay, anyway. He was Ninja. He was Paradox. He was Freeze Ghost. I'm Biff. And this is the end. To stay <laughs> epic. Stay epic. Bruh. Rock Connoissance. Dun, dun, dun. 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 Dun, 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 dun. Oh fuck, this is a- wait, how does the season 3 intro go? Cause I wanna sing that for the end credits.